Hi, I'm Kayla. And I'm Eric. And, and this, this is Investigation, Investigation Beauty. Beauty. Today is our Walkthrough Wednesday. We're going to be walking you through how to apply the Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics Lip Tar Lipstick. So we have a bunch of different colors. Yeah, let's show them all of our <laughs> colors. Uh, mostly reds and nudes and stuff. That's just what we've collected. But they do have a full array of all different colors from yellows and reds and blues to like dark purples and oranges and hot pinks and light pinks and all different stuff. So they have yeah. a color for everybody and they're mixable so you can actually make your own colors if you wanted to. Um, the formulations come in these little tubes and these are called lip tars. They're very, very pigmented. This one specifically is called Stalker. It's from their matte collection. Which one do you have? This is Memento. This is also one of their matte lip stain. Yeah, not stain, lipsticks they actually lipsticks, are. Lipsticks, yeah. But they do have a staining power and they're long wearing. Um, and like I said, full pigmented. So they're gonna, you know, a little bit goes a long way. I also have some of their older ones with the older packaging. This is a stained gloss. And then I have another stained gloss, but this is fun because it has a little bit of a metallic to it. So they do have, you know, like we said, a whole array of um, different styles, different finishes, and different colors. So it's really Basically, fun. if you're looking for any lip color in the world, you can find it at Obsessive Compulsive. Yes. I'm always looking at all the new colors that they're coming out with. They actually just came out with a line and they have like fun like deep purples and metallic purple and I nude and everything like that so it's just you know just something for everybody um, the lip tar brand besides their lip tar lipsticks they also have um, uh, specifically at Sephora they have lip liners nail polishes and a lot of different kits that you can buy um, but on their website they actually sell a lot of different brushes and everything we only sell I mean Sephora only sells <laughs> Um, the uh, Lip Tar Lipstick Brush, either in a mini size that comes with the Lip Tar or a full size that comes with some of their specialty um, packages. So you can only get these at Sephora if you buy the actual Lip Tar, whether it's in a kit or not. You can get all the individual Lip car Tars, whatever color you want. They are $18 each. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones that they pair up with the mini brushes. You can get the bigger, longer brushes. Um, they are included in any of their package deals. I know some of the packages they have now, they have like all their primary color ones, like the basic red, blue, green. They have a white one in there too. And I believe that pack is 29. They also have their Essential 12 kit, and I believe that package is 59.99. Yeah. The but, brush by itself is $18 on their website. So if you do want to order it, like maybe you already have it and it's getting kind of old and you want to replace it, you can order it through the Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics website. Because you'll find out one tube of lip tar, they give you a ton of product. Yeah. This is like, to me, a lifetime supply. Yeah, You need like the most minimal when the applying. The smallest amount. So that's going to last you literally forever. Some people are like, you know, that's a great price for a lipstick. But some people are like, oh, you know, $18 for a lipstick. But it literally is going to last you so long. <laughs> um, they also have their primers. I mean, their primers. Their lip, lip liners. liners. <laughs> So, um, we only have a few of the colors, but they do have a lot of different ones. We each have a um, anti-feathered color, which is just clear. So this is great for outside the lip line or um, inside the lip line too, if you want to create a nice base. And then I have the Tarde and the Sybil, which is brown and a black one. So definitely some great standard colors for me, but they also have like a fun like um, bright purple. They yeah. have red and pink and blue and all this kind of stuff. So. A color for everybody and again um, you can definitely just get the clear one for some colors like the yellow if you did just want to wear yellow lipstick and it doesn't have a lip liner with I don't think any brand has yellow lip liner you can just do the clear <laughs> and kind of you know work with it that way so and these are $16 each yep. but they did have a packet over holidays so I don't know if you can still get that on Sephora.com that had like I think six different colors for like $48 so they definitely you know offer a lot of great deals so look out for those so you can get more for your money all right, so what we're gonna do is we want to demo how to apply the lip tar or how we think that you should be applying it the best you can in order to save product and also not get lipstick all over your teeth and all over your face because it does tend to feather if you add too much product. Um, so I like to use little tiny bits. First step to any lip application is you want to exfoliate your lips and you want to balm your lips because you really want to get rid of all the dead skin and all that 
weird texture and everything that happens on your lips throughout the day, especially it being like, you know, winter or like even in the fall when your lips start getting kind of like, you know, crackly and dried out and if you don't wear lipstick on the regular, then your lips are gonna, aren't going to be smooth. Um, this is very important because with anybody's lips, no matter how how healthy you think your lips are, if you don't exfoliate, your lipstick will not last and it will not look as good. Um, some lipsticks, not these specifically, but some lipsticks I have experienced tend to dry out your lips, especially if you go with a matte lipstick. So if you do want the matte look, you have to take care of your lips first. So Eric is just exfoliating with some of our Lush Mint Juleps Lip Exfoliator. It's just Ooh. essentially a... I love it. I feel like I could just like lick it off my lips instead of cleaning it. Yes, it's a edible lip scrub that my friend got me for Christmas so thank you <laughs> and I love it and I like to prep people with it and it just gives you that nice hydrated and it's all natural so if you eat it it's not gonna be bad for you so you want to do that and then you want to add a balm so we have the Sephora collection super nourishing lip balm you can get it for five dollars at Sephora five dollars what yeah, it actually was featured on Dr. Oz so if that's you know your kind of thing then you'll know it has metal foam in it so it's actually very very hydrating and very um, retexturizing for your skin so it's really going to help plump and hydrate those lips so after you do that and I already put mine on you. then you want to go into your lip application
So just for a little bit of a recap, um, the way me and Akela just achieved these lips, we both went in with the anti-feather um, lip liner from Obsessive Compulsive. Mm -hmm. We just perfectly lined all the outside of our lips. I find a lot of lip products I use, you really don't need a lip liner because I really love matte lips. Mm -hmm. With Obsessive Compulsive, it is incredibly liquidous to start. You can tell me and Kayla have no fine lines or wrinkles around our mouth, but being so liquidous without a liner, it will find its way to seep into yes. them. <laughs> so you 100% need a liner whenever you use a um, Obsessive Compulsive Lip Tar. Yeah, it just makes it look a lot better in the end. Um, what we did was we actually li lined a little bit outside of our lips. Um, a lot of people don't know this trick. It's very, very helpful with any any age. Like Eric said, like we don't even have fine lines and wrinkles, but it does help really hold it in. Um, you can also do it all over the lip if you need extra, like, as like a primer almost for your yeah. lipstick, if you need extra holding power, but we just line it on the outside. I do sometimes use other brands as well. Kind of some examples are the No Bleeding Lines Lip Liner, which also goes on clear, but this is great because it's retractable, so you don't have to sharpen it. And then the Makeup Forever Lip Liner, again, goes on translucent, but you do have to sharpen that, just like the um, Anti-Feathered from Lip Tarp. Two awesome picks. Mm -hmm. um, to achieve the colors we got, you used just the regular, it was Techno Pagan? I used Techno Pagan, yes, one of their newer colors. So it's like a um, iridescent purpley blue, so I just love the bold color of it. And I used the Nomad color, it's a gloss, but it kind of had a metallic finish to it, almost brown. And I mixed it with the Matte Roller Girl because I was looking for more of a metallic matte purpley Which color. Looks like this. Because we took that a sample. That is the color. <laughs> we took a little Sam sample. Yeah. <laughs> So he just mixed them, so it definitely came across a little bit more translucent, but I really like this color. It's interesting, I've never mixed the two shades, so it is a very like nice purpley iridescent color as well. The Obsessive Compulsive line also has a completely clear color. That is their primer color, which we didn't have mm -hmm. to work with today. Yes. Um, but if you ever did want the full lip tar experience, you would apply the liner and then the primer just as you would the regular lip tar. Yes. Give that a couple seconds to set in and then just apply the regular yeah. lip tar over it. And that definitely helps give it some more holding power as well if you didn't want to put the lip liner all over. The one thing that's fun about them, the colors are incredibly opaque. You saw when Kayla applied hers, it was like that beautiful <laughs> shimmery blue color right away. Um, my colors were pretty opaque too. I like to go in with a very little bit to start. I like to do all over my lips, let it sit for a second. If I feel like I need another layer, go over it. But I would definitely just give it a couple seconds in between layers so it doesn't goop up too much on your lips. Yes, definitely start off with the tiniest bit. Spread that around your lips as much as possible and then go in with more afterwards because the key to this is building it. A lot of people go in with a huge amount. I did it the first time I tried Lip Tar. I did a huge pearl size amount and put it all over my lips and I wore it all day at work and it was just seeping all over my face and so since it does have staining power, it kind of got everywhere and I couldn't really fight it so I had to go in with like a lip exfoliator and everything to really get the color off. So be very careful and start off with a little tiny bit. Always remember, you can always add more, you can never really take it away, it's a lot harder to take it away. Overall these lip tars work absolutely wonderful. Yes. Um, I love the massive color variety, so if you ever have a special event, I know around the holiday, Halloween times, people are always looking for awesome, yes. fun lip colors. Mm -hmm. OCC, an amazing Halloween color if you wanted to go find some fun pop colors to add to a nice costume or anything like that. Definitely. But they also have a ton of neutrals you can wear absolutely all year round. Yeah, so for any occasion, any color that you need, check out Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics at Sephora or on their website because you will not be disappointed, we promise. All right, so you guys know where to find us. You can find us at investigationbeauty.wordpress.com. You can email us at investigationbeauty at gmail.com. Like us on Facebook and love us on Instagram. And we're going to see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching.